Welcome to your 2024 personal energy number forecast. Most people at the beginning of the year, including myself, rush off to read their horoscope for the year. How is my Capricorn going to do in the fifth house? Or more commonly, if you're into feng shui and Chinese metaphysics, you're looking at your bazi, your Chinese astrology. How is my pig in the day pillar going to interact with the dragon of 2024? Things like that. This is a little bit different. This is your personal energy number, also known as your mingua or your kua number. It's the same thing, just different terminology. When I, as a feng shui consultant, look at a home, I look for your personal energy number in the house, in your house's astrology chart, and I see how these environmental energies are all mixing together and affecting your personal energy number. Well, I can't look at your house right now, but I can tell you how the environmental energies what opportunities are coming to you, what obstacles might be coming to you, and I can look at the forecast for your personal energy number for 2024. Note that your personal energy number is not the same as your life path number, so to make it super simple, I've linked a really handy guide in the description of this video. You simply look up your birthday and next to you, the row with your birthday are two columns with your personal energy number. Make that note and find the video associated with your personal energy number. I'm also going to take us into how to calculate it because it's a super easy calculation as well, except for if your birthday is in January or February, then it's different because Chinese New Year falls on a different day every year. And so it's best to just click that guide, especially if your birthday is in January or February. I'm gonna take you through how to calculate it or you you can just jump ahead to the actual forecast. Take your birth year, let's take 1987 for example, and you add the total of those numbers. 1 plus 9, 8 plus 7, 10, 15. 1 and 0 reduces to 1, 15 reduces to 6, 1 plus 6 is 7. Now listen up, if you are a male, you subtract that final number, 7 from our example, from the number 11, only if you are a man. So 11 minus seven equals four. If you are female and your number reduced to seven, then you add four. Seven plus four equals 11, 11 reduces to two. So if you are a male, your personal energy number in this case was four, and if you are a female, your personal energy case in this number was two. Again. This works for everybody past those February birthdays. If you're a January or February birthday, just go check out my cheat sheet. Second note, if you are female and your birth year reduces to five, you are actually an eight. If you are a male and your number reduces to a five, your number is actually a two. Now that you have your personal energy number. Hello, hello, personal energy number threes. You are the wood element and I'm very excited to talk to you today about all of the energy coming to you in 2024. Yes, you saw that right. There was a costume change. I am a one man band over here at Elemental Clarity. I write my own content. I film my own things. I edit my own things. I do it all on my own. So that first part of this video was the intro for all the personal energy number videos. But this part of the video is specific to you personal energy number threes. Also props to all the YouTubers who just read a teleprompter or like have their download the second they turn on their screen. For me, I study these charts, I research these charts, I really sit with the different energies and downloads and I say, what do the personal energy three numbers, personal energy number threes need to hear this year about 2024? And so I have written down all my notes and scripts, so I'll be reading from my notes. Be sure to stay until the end where I share with you the three key takeaways for personal energy number threes to take advantage of their 2024. You really have a lot of great stuff swirling around you this year. It's very smooth, which is nice. Your biggest obstacle will be to stay out of your own way and not let your emotions get the better of you. Here's why. This is a year that you go inward. Every year there's an energy that really deep dives into themselves. It's a big personal growth year for that energy number. And for you, it's you this year. <laughs> you will find that you're feeling called to go inward more often. You might find that you are looking to hang out alone more often, dive into yourself a little bit more. It might seem like it's loneliness at first, or it might be some loneliness. But this is a year that you are meant to go inward and learn more about yourself. You will find that you're ready to focus on you, 
focus on your health, focus on your mental landscape. What you do with that is up to you. Like how you dive, deep dive into yourself is up to you. It could be that you join a bunch of group classes and courses and things to learn more. So that's it. Don't worry about the loneliness comment too much because the way you discover more about yourself could be by getting involved in a bunch of different groups. Really, it's up to you, but you will be in your feels for sure. My question for you is, will you like what you find when you go inward? That might be where your emotions potentially get the better of you this year, and I really don't want you to get in your own way because you're being supported by two of the best energies in the chart, which is a fantastic gift. One is nurturing and it's helping you grow. It's your resource, it's motivating, it's motivation, it's energy. I think so many of you will be excited for growth and change this year and the energy really supports that. So in other years when the personal energy number ones are in the center of the chart, they don't have as much support. I think for you, it's gonna be a fun, smooth growth year that you are really looking to embrace and you should you're being watered you're being fueled and empowered to create something not only are you being supported and nurtured but you're also being heated up you're also having this spotlight shown on you for all the work that you're doing. It will be a year of ideas, and as you emotionally process them, you may start to ask yourself, can I really do this? Can I really put myself out there? Who am I to do this? And that's what I mean. Like You'll have these moments of growth, and then these moments of, if you haven't been balanced, like if you're not drinking enough water and exercising and eating well, and you're just going, going, going so much, you might have more or less of these, so it's up to you, moments where your emotions and your thoughts get very loud and you start to say, can I do this? Who am I to do this? That imposter syndrome might come up, but it's all in our head. It's all our own stories. No one else is thinking these things about you. The energy not only wants you to grow, but it also wants your output. It wants you to create, and there are people ready to cheer you on and support you you're really the only one that can stunt your own progress this year because people want what you are inspired to make this year. It's a very smooth circle. I don't know how many years I've actually ever seen it be this smooth. So let's get into the three key takeaways. Remember, none of this is a predictor. None of this is like, this will for sure happen. This is just the energy around you. It's just the forecast of the weather and how are you gonna use it to your advantage? If it's snowing, go snowmobiling. If it's sunny, what a great day to swim. Use this energy and this forecast to your advantage. So first, career. In career, you're with traveling energy. So if there's an opportunity at work that comes up and they say, do you wanna travel for this? And maybe it's something different that you're not used to, definitely lean in and go, go for it. Obviously check if it's in your best interest and if it's actually gonna help you grow. Don't do any dirty work you don't need to do, but that's exciting. You're with the travel energy this year. Do you wanna be the person on location? Maybe you're the one that stays on site, travels to the project. It could be traveling just like daily to different sites as well, right? Maybe it's not like a trip. It's definitely a cool opportunity to lean into. New opportunities, income, doors, people, so much will open up for you using this travel energy this year. When we see something like clash and change or this travel mobile energy, when you use it, you just kind of lean in not knowing what to expect and it will inevitably open something you didn't expect, right? We don't know what's gonna happen in 10 steps. So we kind of just have to trust the next one and expect that 10 is pretty cool and usually is better than we could have imagined. The spotlight is also on you. You're with a fire energy that is ready to show you off. Will your emotions have you pulling back or will you lean in and embrace it? Sometimes we have to get out of our heads and we have to go with our gut. I would embrace it. This is why every year, no matter what's going on with the energy, you wanna put your best foot forward. And so I hope that these past few years you have been evolving, putting time into yourself, growing as a human, reading, building your emotional intelligence and your emotional fitness, because this is definitely a year that can catapult you to 10 steps and 10x your progress if you've been doing the work the whole time, even though the last, if I remember right, couple years have not been 
the greatest. But if you put in the work anyway, this energy is going to speed up the progress. So it's a reminder to always be evolving and growing and curious because then you have years like this where the energy just shows up full force, ready to promote you, ready to give you the spotlight. spotlight and it's like, what have you been cultivating and growing in the meantime? And what is it getting ready to illuminate? If you have not been being your best self, not been doing the best things, having the best habits, then that's what's going to get illuminated. And you're going to have to remove that before you can take advantage of this forward momentum. Relationship wise, nothing very big stands out. But I interpret no news as good news in this case. I interpret clear waters with the fire energy illuminating you and helping you channel your skill. People will definitely be noticing you. Um, also, if you're looking for feminine female energy, whether you're a female looking for a female or male looking for a female, there's a lot of good female energy around. So that's positive if that's what you're seeking out in your dating life. Health is also very smooth. If you're currently struggling with your health, ask for help. I say ask for help. You should always ask for help. But especially this year, you have that resource. So you have helpful people. You have wise advisors. You have mentors around you and experts around you that can help. So look up experts in the area of whatever like issue that you need help with. Um, you're surrounded by helpful people and the ability to find solutions is easier this year. If you're not experiencing anything with health, my heads up would be to be mindful of not burning out. So with all of this nurturing and water and growth, especially because you're wood, there's a lot of creativity creativity. There's a lot of go, go, go. There's a lot of wanting to create and do. And then you have the output energy. So it's like you might feel like you're continuously producing and giving and going. And you need to stay on top of like, when do I need to pause? Am I producing quality over quantity? Am I giving so much of myself? Am I giving too much of myself? Because remember, this year is about you. So there's this mental health and creating boundaries and balance aspect to your year in addition to the output. So just, I don't wanna say beware, because <laughs> there's nothing to be scared of, but just keep an eye out. If you're starting to push it and you're starting to get a little burnt out, it's a good note to take the next 24 hours minimum off. Be very mindful of your mental health this year. Now that you know what energy is supporting your personal energy number this year, go check out the energy in your environment in 2024 and how to use that to your advantage. I'll see you in that video.